In today's lesson, we are having a look at the rules of differentiation a bit more. There are different notations used in differentiation, and it is important that you are able to use all of them when answering the questions. The first option is when you are given a function. Then, when you use your rules of differentiation, you will indicate this by saying f prime x, and this shows that you are calculating the derivative. The second notation is when you are simply given y is equal to. So when you differentiate this equation, you will write dy over dx is equal to. And this indicates that you are calculating the derivative of y with respect to x. And the third option is when you are simply given an expression. So when you differentiate this expression, you will write dx of this expression and this means you are differentiating the expression with respect to x and this will then be equal to your derivative or you can state that d over dx of this expression will be equal to the following. Let's have a look at a few examples. In example 1 we are asked to determine the derivative and we are given an equation. We know that we are allowed to use the rules of differentiation per term, but sometimes it will be necessary for you to simplify first so that you have terms that you can use the rules on. In example one, this is exactly the case, and we are going to have to simplify by starting off with factorizing the numerator and the denominator. Our numerator is a trinomial that can be factorized as x minus three and x plus 1. And in the denominator, we can take out 2 as a common factor and we'll be left with x minus 3. This can be simplified by saying x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is 1, and we are left with x plus 1 divided by 2. Because we still have two terms in our numerator here, we are going to further simplify it by splitting it up and giving each of those terms their own denominator. So it will be x over 2 plus 1 over 2. This can also be written as a half of x plus a half. So now we've simplified up to two separate terms and that means we can differentiate. And when we differentiate, we will indicate this by writing dy over dx is equal to the following. For my first term, we have a half x to the power of 1. And I'm going to take that exponent and multiply in front. So we will have a half times 1, which is a half, and x to the power of 0, which of course is 1. And for my second term, I have a constant value, and the derivative of a constant is 0. So that means my final derivative is a half. Example 2. Determine the derivative of the following expression. And once again here, we will have to simplify first. So starting off, I'm going to write dx again, because we will still do the derivative. But for now, we are going to simplify by starting off putting every single term in the numerator on its own denominator of x squared. And when I simplify each term on its own, for the first term I will have 4x, and the second term needs to be rewritten so that x is not in the denominator, so that will be minus 7x to the power of minus 2. And now I can calculate the derivative, so this means I'm not writing the dx anymore because I'm differentiating. The first term is a linear term. And for a linear term, the derivative is simply the constant in front, so 4. And in the second term, the exponent multiplies in front, so I get plus 14. And in the exponent, I subtract another one to get minus 3. In example 3, we have quite a few different variables. And here it is very important to then determine with respect to which variable we should differentiate. Here we are asked to differentiate with respect to m, and that means that m will be the variable that's the focus of our differentiation. So the p, q, and r can be seen as constant values. 
So when differentiating here, we can immediately start off by using our rules because we already have three separate simplified terms. So for our first term, the exponent of m is 3 and that will be multiplied with the constant p in front. So that will give us 3 times p and for the exponent of m, we subtract 1 and end with 2. In our second term, the exponent of m is 1, which we will go and multiply in front. So we will have minus 1q squared and it will become m to the power of 0 that we don't have to write. And if we have a look at our third term, you will see that there is no m value, which means this is a constant and the derivative of a constant is 0, which we don't have to write. So our final answer is 3pm squared minus q squared.